Hello YouTubers and YouTubers, welcome to another Luck No Skills tutorials. Today we are learning how to make a block using MCP with a mod loader. Firstly, you must have already set up MCP and if you haven't, go watch the tutorial here. And if you have, follow along. Firstly, we must open up a text editor of your choice. I'm using Edit Rocket, so we're going to let that open. Okay, and we're going to make a new file and save it as mod underscore and whatever you want to call your mod. I'm going to call ours block.java and make sure it's saved in MCP SRC Minecraft net Minecraft SRC. Save. Next, in the description of this video, there will be a link to a file called mod loader syntax. So look, just like this, we copy everything inside of it and paste it into our mod underscore block file. And if you notice these little stars or asterisks or whatever you want to call them, we have to replace them with what this file is called, excluding the .java. Mod underscore block. Okay. Next, uh, we, sh we save this file and make another new file and save this one as block and then our block's name and make sure it's saved in MCP, SRC, SRC, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft, SRC. Yeah, save it. And we're going to type some code. We must type package, package net dot minecraft dot source, S well, SRC, semicolon, enter, import java dot util dot random, semicolon, two spaces, public class, and then your um, class's name, extends, block, opening brace, public, its name again, and opening, closing bracket, int i, comma, space, int j, uh, enter, and then make another opening brace, and then we type super uh, what was it? I comma J comma material dot and then this is why we're going to choose a material for our block so you can do this by going to material dot java open this up scroll down and these are all the materials you can use if you notice there's no stone but there is a rock and that's a substitute for rock or the yeah, same thing I will be using wood so we can get it back after we break it with our hand, like a ninja, and then we put a semicolon at the end. Next we go and hit enter twice from the end of line 9, and type public int id dropped, opening bracket int i, comma space, random, random, with the, uh, with a capital R and a lowercase r, and then a closing bracket. And then we hit enter, open embrace, let that make itself return. And this is where we put what is going to drop. And we're going to type mod underscore block. And if you notice, this is this file's name, dot, and then this file's name, block john. And I'll explain why we do this later. So and then after that, we go dot block id with the same capitalization, which is a lowercase b and then a capital I and D semicolon. And then we go to the end of line 14 and hit enter twice again and type public int quantity blah, quantity dropped opening bracket random random op uh, capital R and lowercase r and then enter opening brace make itself return and then this is exactly what it says, how many of this we want to drop. I'll just say one. Okay, so we're done with this file. Now we go on to this file and go to the beginning of line six and hit enter twice, go back up twice and type public static final blah, final block. And if you notice, this is sim very similar to making an item, except we call it block when we do this. So then block space and then this file's name block john equals new 
block John again. So it's saying when we use this word, it's equal to this file. Now we give it the data um, data id ID what? Uh, the data value for this block and no you cannot choose any number of your liking. You have to choose anything from one thirty above. Or you can just use one thirty itself. And after you've chosen your a uh, number you type comma and zero. Next we can uh, put some characteristics into our block such as set hardness opening closing bracket and then we type in a number or decimal and uh, I don't know, let's do 1.0 and then put in a capital F which means float and it's a unit that this uses and then to add another one we go dot set I don't know, resistance and this is not tree resistance. <laughs> resistance. Okay, resistance, opening, closing bracket. And this is how resistant it is to TNT. Um, Obsidian has like 100 or something. We're going to put 2.0 and then F. And this, is, and this one is compulsory. It's set block name and opening and closing bracket and then two quotation marks and we type in between those its name and John and then after it there's one more we can use which is set light value and this is if you want it to be light and you can't put the number above five or it'll crush your game so I'm gonna say <coughs> 2 point zero F and after you've done enough characteristics, you just put a semicolon at the end. Next, we go to line la, 10 and type mod loader dot register block. And then we write its name, block John. This one up here. And then a semicolon at the end. Next, we type mod loader dot add name. We add its name, so we type its name again, comma space, and then it's an in-game name, which is John. And then we give it a texture by typing block John dot uh, block index in texture. <coughs> now lowercase b, capital I, I, and T, and space equals mod loader dot add override and yes the capitalization for that I, uh, a is correct let me do this and then instead of typing slash gui slash items and all that stuff we just we just type terrain because the file that hold that holds all the pictures for the blocks is called slash terrain and we add our new directory and I'm just gonna put it in minecraft directly uh, john dot png if you wanted it to be in a folder, you type slash and then write your folder's name here. But we're not doing that. And then we put a semicolon at the end. Now we give it a recipe. And if you don't add a, uh, add a recipe, go watch the tutorial here. Because I am not... Ah, I'm going to have to explain it again. This is what happened last video. Okay. I guess I am going to show you. New item stack opening bracket and then we type uh, this file's name mod underscore block actually no we don't we just type um, this file's name block john comma space and then how many we want and then comma space outside of those brackets new object squares a square and then opening brace that makes itself and then we go down put a, a closing bracket semicolon and then go back up put two quotation marks write our recipe and I explain it better in this tutorial tutorial blah so then we type this mm, character value of a at is block dot dirt and we're done so let's test out our mod and do I have a texture no I don't okay 
I guess I'm going to have to make one. Uh, it has to be 16 by 16, just to let you know. Zoom in. Let's make it look pretty. Looks like some KFC thing. No, it's actually the German flag. What am I saying? John. Ja, es ist mein Name. Okay, there we go. Now we open up terminal. Type cd space and drag in our mcp folder and then type bash recompile.sh Hit enter and uh, now we should get no errors and we can chillax and have an awesome weekend of coding and fun. There we go. Bash start client.sh Single player world, create new, blah, whatever. Get get some dirt. Threw it in our crafty thing, and guess what we get? We get the German flag. Just kidding, no, it's actually my block. Oh wow, yes, it does emit light. And that's level one one point zero F. Uh, breaking hardness, I'm going to now oh, run the piece. Well, anyway, if you uh, like this tutorial, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any errors, please send them to me. I am more than happy to fix them or look at them for you. And uh, happy modding!